I have a riddle for you. You're buying a baby ball python, and as part of the preparation, you're ordering snake food. Now, the breeders told you that the snake is on frozen thawed rat pups, but you've done your research and you know that snakes grow, so they're not going to be on rat pups forever. How many of that one size meal do you need to buy? Three? One hundred? I'm going to give you an answer in this video, but first we have to cut to this logo thing. <laughs> Welcome to the green room. I'm Bob Bledsoe and this is Delilah. When I first got Delilah, she was on rat pups and this week she just took her first medium rat. So she's had some upgrades and luckily for this video, I've kept records of every meal she's eaten as well as all my other snakes. Two. What? Two. I'm answering your riddle. My brother Kent, everybody. You're buying a snake, you might get one or two feeds in before that snake kills you. So there's no need to waste money buying any more than two rats. Why does wasted money matter if you're dead anyway? Oh yeah, that's a tricky riddle. You work on that while keeping a steady hand on that camera. Roger that. Individual snakes are different, but I'm gonna give you several examples of snakes that have been growing up here and how many of a certain size rodent they took before they upgraded. That way you'll at least have a general idea of where that number might fall between three and a hundred. It's a good thing that I kept records because I had to go to not only Husbandry Pro, the app that I use now, uh, but also handwritten diaries that I used to use a long time ago to figure this out. I'm going to give you examples of eight different snakes, two of whom have gone all the way from rat pups to mediums. A few variables to think about. Number one, individual snakes are all different, as you'll see. Also, prey sizes can really vary, not only from supplier to supplier, but just also in the bag, especially when you get into smalls and mediums. So let me give you an example of some of the sizes that we'll be talking about. This is a rat pup. There's not a huge variation in size when they're this young. Here's a weaned rat. They've got fur now. This is a small rat. Uh, this is where you get some variation. There's not a lot of variation in my bag. They're all about this size, and this is smaller than I often get, but uh, you know, it's pretty close. Somewhere around here and maybe a little bit bigger. Medium rat. Again, there's size variation here. This is about normal for a medium rat. This is about mid-size. Now, we're mainly talking about rats today, but here's an example of a jumbo mouse. This, uh, other, than, other than my one mouse or Lucille, this might go to a snake occasionally who's taking weaned rats just to give them something different. So there we go. We're going to go by rat size category and we'll keep the order of the snakes the same. Here we go. First in the lineup is Delilah, my pastel freeway. You might remember her from like a minute ago. She was 174 grams when I got her, so the breeder had given her a number of rat pups already. I don't know how many, so she's really the only one in this lineup that doesn't really count for the rat pup category. But in case you're curious, she took nine before I bumped her up. Our next snake is Evie, my vanilla het sunset. She's in shed right now, and she just is clearing up, so I'm expecting her to shed in the next day or two. But she was 100 grams when I got her, so pretty much hatchling size. I got her with Delilah, actually. They, they came from the same breeder, and I picked them up on the same day. And uh, she got a couple of hopper mice before I gave her rat pups. She was on mice when I got her. So uh, she got a couple hopper mice, and then she only took six rat pups before she was ready for weaned. Number three in the lineup is Lydia Dietz, my clown het pied. She was 102 grams the day I brought her home, and like Delilah, she has never skipped a meal. She took 18 rat pups. Next up is Molly Malone, my Ultramel het pied, 66% het hypo. She uh, was only 85 grams when I got her, so she was a little one, and she's been my pickiest eater over the last several months. She ate really well when she was when she was younger and then she's tapered off. But uh, when I first got her, she was on hopper mice and she took five of those and then I was able to switch her to rat pups and she got 10 rat pups. Here's the Sundance Kid. This good boy is a cinnamon het sunset. He's betrothed to Evie when she's ready to breed. When she's ready, he definitely will be ready because he is my most aggressive eater. He is lightning fast like an old west gunfighter hence the name, and he does a full body wrap, head to tail. He's not messing around with this little neck squeeze on his already dead rodent. The Sundance Kid was 103 grams when I got him, and he took 19 rat pups before switching to weaned, of which he's had seven. And then you're gonna be on smalls forever. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're not we're not going bigger than Smalls with you. You'd like it though. You'd love to be a 25 pound snake, I think. That would be your goal, probably. This is Bear, my pied heck clown boy, who also will definitely be ready to breed with Lydia Dietz next season because he is also a really good eater. I got him at 105 grams. He came in from the same breeder at the same time as the Sundance Kid. And like the Sundance Kid, he's had exactly the same meals. 19 rat pups and so far seven weaned rats. Next in the lineup is Tiger Lily, who hatched right here last season. I believe her to be asphalt, spot nose, inchy, calico, orange dream, extreme gene. She's stacked. Tiger Lily crawled out of the egg at 68 grams of stripy goodness, and she's eaten like a champ ever since. She took 13 rat pups before being upgraded. The next snake to walk down the snack time memory lane is Dolly. She is Tiger Lily's clutch mate, and I believe her to be spot nose, calico, asphalt, extreme gene. She started out life at 74 grams, and she had to be assist fed a few meals before she figured out how to eat on her own. Now she's pretty good at it. She's just smaller uh, because of that. And I feed her pretty conservatively because she will occasionally refuse a meal if it's bigger than what she's used to eating. So she started those assist feed meals with fuzzy mice and she took four of those. Now a snake is not gonna grow much on fuzzy mice, but when you're assist feeding, you've gotta do something smaller so it's not as uh, traumatic for them. So once she figured out how to eat on her own, I switched her to uh, hopper mice and she took seven of those. What'd she take? Yeah, she took she took seven hopper mice, and then finally when she took a rat, uh, we, we went to rat pups, and she took 11 of those. Yeah, yes, nailed it, 11. And she just bumped up to wean rats. She took her first one last week, the smallest one in the bag. So that's a wide range of rat pup numbers. Just to sum up, not counting Delilah's sort of unknown numbers, we've got 18, 6, 10, 19, 19, 13, and 11. Okay, on to weaned rats. Delilah got five before I started feeding her smalls. Evie grew pretty quickly in the beginning and she only got five weaned rats before she was ready for smalls. At this point, for the last number of months, she's been kind of a more picky eater. She likes to skip a meal or two and so she's not growing as rapidly. She's still on smalls. She's had 37 so far, but uh, she's, not, she's not ready to be bumped up yet because I just... Uh, the, the idea is to get her to take the meal. Lydia got 11 weaned rats before graduating. Molly took 16 and is now currently on smalls. So far, she's had 24 and counting. Slowly counting. Tiger Lily took 11 weaned rats or jumbo mice. I switched those up occasionally for her. And she switched to smalls about four meals ago. So right now she's getting the smaller smalls that are in the bag. Hi, you can crawl on my nose. So our final count for snakes who have gone all the way through weaned rats and are on to the next one is, where are we at? Five, five, 11, 16, and 11. Now, before we look at the small rats, let's take a look at Kent's Corner. Hi, welcome to Kent's Corner. Today, I'm gonna give you some advice on your snake. I bet you never thought you'd hear me say that, did ya? Now, let me ask you a question. What do snakes crave? Say it with me. Human flesh, good job. So, if your snake's not eating, all you have to do is drip a little bit of blood onto the head of the, actually, you don't even have to do that. Just shake some dandruff off onto the rat and the snake will be like, hang on, is that people? Yum. Congratulations, I just helped you get your snake eating again. You probably shouldn't sleep too soundly. Thank you for watching Ken's Corner, the only show that you ever watch. Wow, Kent, that was pretty gross, but I do appreciate your attempt to try to help people in this community, but nothing you've said made sense. Thanks. I'm gonna quickly acknowledge our Patreon supporters with a mid-video Patreon credit scroll. I did some moving around and consolidating of these boards this week. You know, I started doing this just because I didn't know how to edit a professional looking scroll in a video, but folks seem to like it, so I guess we're keeping this format. Anyway, Thanks so much to these Patreon supporters. Really appreciate you guys. Okay, now we're on to small rats. Now, generally a snake will grow pretty fast through the rat pup phase and the weaned rat phase. And then they stay on smalls for quite a bit longer. And keep in mind that, that smalls are variable in the bag. So when Delilah started on smalls, she was probably getting the smallest ones in the bag. 
She took 33 small rats before I bumped her up. Lydia took 36 small rats. She and Delilah are the only two who have graduated from smalls. So let's go back to Delilah. At this point, I realize the sizes aren't as meaningful, but just to sum up, we're at 33 and 36 for the two snakes who've graduated past smalls. Now, when it was time to graduate Delilah here and Lydia to mediums from smalls, usually you just, most companies just have a bag of mediums, but Lane Labs, who I buy from most of the time, has a medium slash small size, which was perfect for them. So they started off on that and Delilah got 16 of those before she took her first medium rat just a few days ago. There's not a huge difference between medium slash small and medium, but uh, they had it so I went that way and it worked. Just like Delilah, Lydia had 16 small slash medium rats and she just took her first regular medium the other day. She's very happy about that. I probably get more feeding questions than anything else. So I hope this helped. Drop a comment below and let me know if you have any other specific questions on feeding that you'd like me to cover in a future video. Thanks for watching. See you next week. I forgot about answering the riddle. We already figured it out, Kent. It's, it's fine. We're done. It was seven, wasn't it? Did I get it right? Do I get to cross the bridge? I'm not a bridge troll. What do you even...